let's learn how to make iced coffee in your dorm room. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy, I'm a freshman at Kansas State University. I live in the dorms, I'm in my dorm right now. Here's my dorm, it's kind of messy right now. I have a lot of like filming stuff out. But we're gonna learn how to make iced coffee. I've done this all year and I swear this is like probably the most cost effective way and easiest way to make iced coffee in your dorm. If you're like me, you like your coffee iced and cold the majority of the time. I do like hot coffee, but ice is just superior most of the time. Obviously it's super easy to make your coffee with a Keurig in the dorm or something along those kinds of lines. That can also be a cost effective way, but this is the best way to make it iced and it will not be watered down. So I just figured I would teach my YouTube how I do this because I feel feel like everybody needs to know how to do this because it's super easy. I swear it's like the best coffee ever. When I'm at like Starbucks, I literally am like, wow, if I wish I was in my dorm room right now, I could just throw some creamer in my coffee. Like seriously, I freaking love it. I, you guys need to try this, I swear. So this is just my recommendation if you're in a dorm room, but it works obviously anywhere. It's just super easy to do in your dorm, which means it's even easier to do at your house or at your apartment or whatever. So I will say we do have a sink in our room, which helps a lot, but if you don't have access to a sink in your room, all you need is like a water fountain or you can use like whatever sink you have at your dorm. You can definitely see my ring light in the back, but this is like our kitchen area slash bathroom area, but we obviously have to use it to make all of our food and drinks and whatever, like microwave fridges, you know all that good stuff welcome to my kitchen so let's talk about what you need for this again guys this is all super cheap the first thing you're gonna need is ground coffee this one is huge this one's from Sam's and it was ten dollars the one that's like half is like five dollars and that's still a lot of coffee so I would highly recommend this this is the classic medium roast so you have probably never seen this before or maybe you have this is called a French press this is what you need this is what you need this is the one investment that you're gonna have to make but mine was only I want to say twenty five dollars it's off Amazon I will have it linked down below Hello. This specific one has worked out super well. I think it was actually Amazon's choice. That's why I picked it. I'll show you guys how to use it later, but you'll need this. I promise you the French press is so worth it. It's literally cheaper than like a Keurig or anything. You're gonna need something to store your coffee in. I have used this mason jar all year. It's just like holds a lot. I make enough for about three to four days, depending on how much I drink. We also have this pitcher that we keep it in for when we make more, because sometimes we make more because we drink a lot of coffee. And then lastly, unless you like your iced coffee, Coffee black. I always use this creamer. It's Natural Bliss by Coffee Maid, I think. And it's just almond milk. Almond milk's my favorite. This one's vanilla. I typically get the caramel one, but they were out of the caramel, so I got vanilla this time. And that's all you're gonna need. I also do wanna say that we do make ice in our uh, freezer that we have. If you have access to ice or if you have a freezer, obviously you can make some ice with some ice trays. Those are all of our ice trays back there because we use a lot of ice. All right guys, let's make some coffee. This is a filter and it's gonna take the grounds out of your coffee once it's done setting in, I guess. I don't know how to word that. So I just set this off to the side first. My biggest trick with this is I always double the recipe and then dilute it with water. So I make really, really strong coffee and then just dilute it with half water. So then it just makes double the amount. So I'm gonna show you guys my recipe for it. I would highly recommend looking over the directions because it tells you how much coffee grounds you should use depending on how strong you want it. I like mine kind of like right in the middle or more on the strong side so it's like probably on that spectrum but whatever works for you make it that way i just opened this bad boy up it smells amazing i actually keep my measuring thing in here just because it's convenient i don't use it any other way this is a two-thirds cup measure and once again this is me doubling the recipe because i'm going to dilute it with water so it's a lot of grounds initially i take my two-thirds cup and fill it almost all the way to the top a little bit less so it's going to look about that full if you can kind of tell it just like it's barely not to the top then you just dump it right in here. <laughs> Then you just grab one more scoop of that exact measurement and also pour it into the French press. Then you fill up your French press with water. I'd recommend hot water because that will like steep it better and kind of make the flavor better. But if you're in a rush to make it cold, then you can use colder water. Don't overflow it because you still have to put the top on. A lot of coffee grounds just sit on top and you don't want them to do that because you want to make sure that the flavor is distributed. So you need to mix that in. I typically just use a knife to try to kind of like stick it down there, I guess. Then it looks like this at the top once you're done stirring it in. Then you just put your top on it like this. There's also like a small arrow right here if you can see that. You want that pointing right here because that just means it's going to pour better. And now we just sit here and wait for about 10 minutes and then we move on to our next step. Okay guys, welcome back. You're just going to push this down. This is separating the water and the grounds. It can be tough if you don't stir it, so make sure you stir it. 
sometimes in the lip right here it can collect extra grounds so I always just like kind of like wipe it out just to make sure that you don't get grounds in your coffee then you're gonna take your jar or pitcher or whatever and then you're just gonna obviously pour it into here So it fills up about this much, which is like a little bit less than half. But again, it's strong enough to where I can fill water up to like here pretty much and for the flavor to be still really good. Again, that's something that you're just kind of have to play around with. So I basically put a little bit more than equal parts of water into this. Then it just looks like that. See, you can tell that it's still very dark and very coffee-ish. It's not like watery. Then I just close it up and put it in the fridge. I'm not gonna show you guys me cleaning this out, but make sure you clean it as best as you can. Make sure you get all the grounds out of the filter and just kind of scrub it down. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then I'm gonna show you guys a little montage of me making my coffee in the morning and you'll see it. It looks so, so yummy and it is literally the best. Like I swear, please try this if you're addicted to coffee. It's the easiest thing to do when you're living in the dorms or wherever you live, honestly. I also make this recipe at home too, so it's not just like a dorm room, like cheap way to do it. Like it is, swear, the best, like anywhere. If you want to see a bunch of more college content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I honestly didn't know about French presses until this summer because Riley told me about them. I just decided to give it a shot and it's seriously amazing. I forgot to mention you can also make hot coffee with French press if you want. You just use hot water and you probably want to warm it up in the microwave. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out because that will help me out in return. And I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!